why does the Vatican hide and fight the warnings of Fatima and Akita? The lack of faith and trust in God into which we have fallen, leading many faithful in the Vatican Curia to sanitize the prophecies, which themselves are conditional of a punishment for the Church and for humanity, for its apostasy and moral decadence. And in the center of this is the third secret of Fatima, the true one, the one whose existence is not recognized by the Vatican. Although a watered-down version of the third secret of Fatima was sent to the world leaders to prevent the consequences of the Cuban Missile Crisis of 1962, this smoking gun was confirmed with the publication of the alleged full text of the third secret by a German magazine in 1963 which coincides exactly with the last message given by Our Lady of Akita in 1973, an apparition approved by the Church. Here we will show that the Third Secret of Fatima, published by the European News in 1963, is the same as the 1973 message of Our Lady of Akita, and that there is indeed a conditional punishment from God that currently hangs over our heads. In 1943, Sister Lucia dos Santos received instructions from her bishop to write down the third secret received at Fatima because she was ill at the time and they did not want the secret to be lost forever. Sister Lucia resisted, but the Virgin Mary appeared to her and told her to write it calmly because she had the permission of her son and she wrote two texts that were sealed in two envelopes delivered to the bishop who sent them to Rome. One had the vision that the Vatican released only in 2000, and the other envelope had an explanation from the Virgin about that vision, which was never published. There are several testimonies of the existence of the two envelopes, and when 1960 arrived, the date planned by the Virgin to divulge the secret Pope John XXIII called Cardinals Alfredo Ottaviani and Augustin B. opened the envelopes and a translator from Portuguese to Italian translated the texts. And then John XXIII said that this message was not appropriate to spread during his pontificate. Some believe that he did this to cover up the apostasy that the Vatican Curia had already entered into and others believed that he did so because they had no way of corroborating that this prophecy was in fact true. However, in the year 2000, Pope John Paul II, already diminished by Parkinson's, decided to publish the first of the two letters. The vision of the angel touching the axis of the earth with the sword in the martyrdom of a pope, but not the explanation that the Virgin gave for that vision. Cardinal Bertone, said that there was nothing more that everything about the third secret had been published, which is what the Vatican Curia still maintains today. In the interpretation made by the Vatican through the mouth of Joseph Ratzinger suggested that this vision had already been fulfilled with the assassination of John Paul II in 1981. This could have been the case because prophecies are conditional but the truth is, is that the events in the second text were not fulfilled in any way. And curiously, already as Benedict XVI, he said that the prophecies of Fatima had not yet been fulfilled. And in a report, he insinuated that his arm had been twisted in the year 2000. But in 1963, Cardinal Odiviani leaked the unpublished text of the third secret to the German newspaper, the European News, and while it caused a stir, it was discarded because it was considered too apocalyptic for a world that did not yet exhibit either the apostasy or the current moral deviations. Part of this text had been sent by the Vatican in 1962 to world leaders in the face of the Cuban Missile Crisis and was called the Third Diplomatic Secret. But ten years later, Our Lady appeared in Akita, Japan and on October 13, 1973, gave a message almost identical to the one published by European News in 1963. This prophecy could no longer be ignored, but it was ignored nonetheless. 
What are the similarities between the alleged third secret revealed by European news and Akita's message? Both of them say that the punishment prophesied is conditional if men do not repent and improve. Both say that a time of greater trials is coming for the church, and that the church will be darkened and the world will be shaken by terror. That Satan will succeed in infiltrating the summit of the church. That cardinals will oppose cardinals and bishops will oppose bishops. That a punishment greater than the flood of Noah will come upon this world. Fire will fall from the sky and the waters of the oceans will turn into vapor. Millions of men will lose their lives from one hour to the next, both good and bad, and those who survive will envy the dead. The text of the European news of Germany also has a mention of La Salette, saying that there it revealed that this would come in the second half of the 20th century. He also said that a great war will break out, that the powerful of the world and the church would no longer wait for the second coming of Jesus. The Virgin also says that if humanity does not oppose the chaos that Satan will create, she will be forced to let go of her son's arm. And finally it says that those who survive these events will once again proclaim God in his glory and will serve him. While it does say in the text of the Akita message of October 13, 1973, that the only weapons that will remain for humanity will be the rosary and the sign left by his son. That the church will be full of those who accept compromises, and the devil will be implacable with consecrated souls. And that those who put their trust in the virgin will be saved. Both of these prophecies describe the infiltration of Satan to the very top of the church, a moral crisis in the church and in the world, and a great conditional punishment if men do not repent and improve themselves. Now, we are at a key moment, because according to the third secret revealed by the European news, a great war would break out in the second half of the 20th century, which would bring punishment. But it has been stretched out over time, although we now have certain signs that this scenario is being created with the wars in Ukraine and in the Holy Land. However, the Vatican Curia acts as if nothing is happening here, and nothing of note is going to happen. And in any case, if it does happen, it is a purely human occurrence. Meanwhile, the president of the Pontifical Marian Academy has said that all the apparitions that speak of punishments are indeed false. And it seems that this is the premise with which Cardinal Tucho Fernandez, dicastery for the doctrine of the faith, is acting. But they have a stone in their shoe. The Japanese bishop formally recognized Akita's apparition in 1980, and it was confirmed by the Holy See in 1981. And the final formal approval by the Archbishop of Akita was given in 1984. And Cardinal Ratzinger, Benedict XVI, declared that Akita was worthy of faith, that it was the echo of the third secret of Fatima, and that worship was permitted and authorized, which is equivalent to that same approval that was given to Fatima, Lourdes, and La Salette. And so the question then becomes, how long will the Vatican continue to disallow or disapprove of the Akita apparitions? Well, this is what we wanted to tell about the coincidences between the Third Secret of Fatima, published by European News in 1963, and the Akita messages of October 13, 1973. And I personally would like to ask you, the viewer of this video, if you think the Vatican will suspend the approval of the Akita apparitions or not. Now, we move on to the Third Secret of Fatima, as reported in the European news of 1963. Do not be afraid, my dear little one. I am the mother of God speaking to you and asking you to make this message public to the whole world. In doing so, you will encounter strong resistance. Listen carefully and pay attention to what I tell you. Men must correct themselves with humble supplications. They must ask for forgiveness for the sins they have committed in those they might commit. 
You wish me to give you a sign so that everyone may accept my words which I speak to mankind through you. You have seen the wonder of the sun in everyone, believers, unbelievers, peasants, citizens, scholars, journalists, laymen, priests, everyone has seen it. And now proclaim in my name. A great punishment will fall upon the entire human race, not today nor tomorrow, but in the second half of the 20th century. I had already revealed this to the children Melania and Maximian at La Salette, and today I repeat it to you because the human race has sinned and trampled on the present that I granted it. There is no order anywhere in the world, and Satan reigns over the highest positions, determining the course of things. He will indeed succeed in penetrating to the very top of the church. He will try to seduce the spirits of the great scientists who are inventing the weapons with which it will be possible to destroy a large part of humanity in just a few minutes. He will have the powerful people who govern the people in his power and will urge them to manufacture a huge quantity of these weapons. And if mankind does not oppose, I will be forced to let my son's arm go free. Then that day will come when God will punish men with such severity as he did not do with the flood. The time of all times and the end of all ends will come if humanity does not convert, and if everything remains as it is now or worse, becoming even worse, the great and the powerful will perish along with the small and with the weak. The church will also face the time of her greatest trial. Cardinals will oppose cardinals, bishops will oppose bishops, Satan will walk in their ranks, and there will be significant changes in Rome. What is rotten will fall, and what falls will never rise again. The church will be obfuscated, and the world will be enveloped in terror. The time will come when no king, emperor, cardinal, or bishop will wait for him who shall come, but to punish according to the designs of my father. A great war will break out in the second half of the 20th century. Fire and smoke will fall from the sky, the waters of the oceans will turn into vapor and foam, will rise in disorder, and everything will sink. Millions upon millions of men will perish from hour to hour, and those who remain alive will envy the dead. Everywhere you look, there will be distress, misery, ruin in every country. Time is drawing nearer, and the abyss is growing wider without hope. The good will perish with the bad, the great with the small, the princes of the church with their faithful, and the kings with their people. There will be death everywhere because of the mistakes made by the foolish and the followers of Satan, who then, and only then, will reign over the world. In the end, when those who survive each event are still alive, they will once again proclaim God in his glory and serve him as in the past, when the world was not so perverted. Go, my little one, and proclaim it. To this end, I will always be at your side to help you. Now we move on to the last message from Akita on October 13, 1973. My dear daughter, listen carefully to what I have to tell you. You will inform your superior. And after a short silence, as I told you, if men do not repent and improve, the father will inflict a terrible punishment on all humanity. It will be a punishment greater than the flood of Noah, such as never been seen before. Fire will fall from the sky and eliminate a large part of humanity, both good and bad, without exception of priests and or faithful. The survivors will be so devastated that they will envy the dead. The only weapons left to them will be the rosary and the sign left by my son. Every day, recite the prayers of the rosary. With the rosary, pray for the Pope, bishops and priests. The work of the devil will infiltrate even within the church in such a way that we will see cardinals against cardinals and bishops against bishops. Priests who venerate me will be despised and will find opposition from their peers. Churches and altars will be plundered. The church will be full of those who accept compromises 
and the devil will pressure many priests and consecrated souls to leave the service of the Lord. The devil will be especially implacable against souls consecrated to God. Thinking about the loss of so many souls is the cause of my sadness. If sins increase in number and gravity, there will be no forgiveness for them. Talk to your superior with courage. He will know how to give each person the courage to pray and accomplish works of reparation. It is Bishop Ido who leads your community. Do you still have something to ask? Today is the last time I will speak to you in a living voice. From now on, you will obey the one who is sent to you and your superior. Pray the rosary prayers a lot. Only I can still save you from the calamities that are approaching. Those who put their trust in me shall be saved. Welcome to Mother in Refuge of the End Times. Today we are excited to present our latest creation made with the support of Labore Metals. We present to you the Mother of Tenderness Medal. This medal of our Blessed Mother features Our Lady holding the baby Jesus close to her cheek. The original icon is renowned for Our Lady's tender love and protection of her children and her deliverance from invading enemies. It is a sign of our tender love for Mother Mary and her tender love of us, her children in Christ. The medal was especially made for Mother and Refuge of the End Times. This medal is completely hand-drawn and is exquisitely made. This medal was crafted to be among the highest quality of medals that are currently being produced. It features small details such as carved roses, a deep picture-like frame with artistic stitching surrounding the head of Our Lady, this metal is available in either antique silver or an antique copper finish. We hope that you will help support this channel by purchasing this metal. All proceeds will go to help us continue to create content for our viewers and promote Our Lady's heavenly messages. As always, we thank you for your support of our ministry and may Our Lady of Tenderness pray for you and your loved ones. May God bless you and keep you and may the tender and immaculate heart of Mary be your refuge. Amen.